Netflix and Amazon. Uh, what are what are your guys' thoughts about these? Well, these well, oh, go ahead, go ahead, uh, Carla. Well, I, just to go back to what you're saying, Rena. Yeah. What I meant about it being different is three years ago when right. I was there, you had so many of these really good, solid, small distributors. Right. Like right. we sold a film to IFC and right. it barely saw the light of day. They're getting eaten up by these bigger sales to the Amazons and the Netflix. Right. Okay. And that's so what let's, I was trying so to let's, say about it being very different. Right. So the, the smaller distributors are not able to compete anymore, I don't think. Okay, so what, you what's your mm -hmm. assessment then of Netflix and Amazon? I mean, Rena, you're seeing them buy a lot of movies, which allow other movies to get produced, but what, what's your observation? I mean, I th look, I think it's a very, it, I, these are the times we live in, right? This, uh, you know, streaming is a really um, important part of our business and our future. They're two very different companies, co very different. One, you know, I consider it more of a traditional distributor because they release theatrically at, at windows that the independents release on because they're releasing, at least today, with independents, whether it's Roadside or A24 or you know, Annapurna. Um, Netflix is, is you know, releasing it for their platform, and they'll give it a, a small theatrical release. Maybe that changes, but they're very it's a very different right. business. And they also buy out your back end. It's, a, it's a f essentially a flat deal. Um, but what they're doing is driving the prices up. They're creating competition, which on the one hand is really good um, from a financier perspective. Uh, sometimes really good for how many eyeballs can I get on it, in the case of Icarus, a feature documentary we sold to Netflix. Um, and I think that uh, you're right. It's not, it's not just the domestics that are having you know, difficulty competing. It's the international distributors, too, that are now feeling right. that. And I think it's incumbent upon us, it, certainly in my department and in the world that we're in, is to keep those independent distributors, um, keep them uh, happy and... and uh, and have them survive right. uh, because and exist because we need them um, uh, in our, in our world. Yeah, uh, and, and by the way, I play in the same world. At the same time, you have to ask yourself as producers: Should we be looking more at a uh, platform agnostic point of view? In other words, there might be some small movie, Carla, that you love. Well, you've got you've got you've got two right that are small. They deserve to be made. They may not have the big box office potential, but. They still deserve to be made. They, you may, might have to look at different platforms right. for those. Is that is that a fair statement? Totally fair statement. Yep. And what do you think, yeah. Kevin? About um, well, what in terms of the stuff that you're developing, are you are you are you thinking only about theatrical distribution, or are you more in your mind platform agnostic? I'm platform you agnostic. Have to be. Me too. Yeah, you have I to think be you have to be, and I think that um, I think that Netflix, you know, I think is you know has um, worked because I think like it was really disruptive and with binge watching and that was kind of the way you watched television and it was at home and that's how you talked about it. And now, and I felt it with movies, which, um, and first I was like, okay, we're used to watching movies in a theater and, um, and that's what hits the cultural conversation. And in certain films you could say like a Get Out may not have hit the conversation if it went to Netflix, but there's so many films now that, are, that there's so many films now that are going, um, that are going through Netflix that I have friends from home that, um, you know, from back east uh, that are talking about. So it feels like it's like, you know, you know, people are getting used to watching films in that scenario and right. people are talking about it in a way that they would that may have just, you know, could have just gone into the ether in other forms. Right.